my name is Nicholas Arcolano. I am the head of data science here at Jellyfish. And my team, uh, one of the, th the things that we do is uh, we lead efforts to um, research new data sources uh, and um, that we can bring into the Jellyfish platform. And um, a data source that we got really excited about about a year ago is what can be done with um, data coming from deployment and uh, incident systems. Uh, and so since then, we've done a lot of work to, um, to learn about the entire DevOps space, these door metrics, what can be done with this type of data, the power that it has in the Jellyfish platform. And we've worked with dozens of customers to uh, help them bring data like this in the Jellyfish and to set up DevOps metrics and to understand um, you know, what, what we could do to create uh, new features in this area. And so um, in the rest of this talk, uh, I'd like to um, get into a little more about why we think it's important to measure these things, uh, talk about the specific type of metrics that we're talking about, uh, share a little bit about the, um, the customer journeys uh, that we've seen, you know, where different customers are coming from uh, and what they're trying to accomplish here in the DevOps space, and then provide um, uh, a little more detail on you know, what this new feature and new integration looks like for Jellyfish and provide a demo uh, as to what you would see in the app. So why measure DevOps metrics? I expect uh, some of you folks here listening uh, you know, are already sold on this stuff, which is why you're here. Uh, for those of you that aren't, uh, you know, maybe you need a little convincing. Uh, you know, when it comes to metrics, I'm sure, you know, many of you have had this experience where there's, you know, it's, there's no perfect metric, right? It's, it's very difficult. You know, you're in the situation where things that you care a lot about, like say revenue, uh, are at, you know, one end of the spectrum where they're very relevant, but far downstream and not very actionable, uh, you know, uh, to all of the things upstream that contribute to them. Uh, things that are closer to the work, closer to the ground that, that you can measure day to day that can change how your teams operate. It's hard to know which among those are important. And there's dozens of metrics out there and we provide a lot of them in Jellyfish and we think a lot of them are important. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, you have to pick some things to really care about. Uh, the kitchen sink approach only gets you so far. Uh, and you have to measure things because if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. What's exciting about DevOps metrics is that this is a class of things that describe um, the, the health effectiveness of, of your engineering machine that are, um, there's a huge body of research that links these things to business outcomes. They, are, they have been proven to be good things to measure. If you improve them, um, they, you achieve better business outcomes. Uh, so there's there's been a lot of research around this. Um, you know, it was popularized originally in, in the 2008 book Accelerate, and so you know, elite teams uh, that perform at the highest levels across these metrics uh, are correlated with better business outcomes. Mm -hmm.